versus Reading. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, our lovely uh, ring assistant now walking around, and Peter with the traditional Moncon on his head. Uh, it's normal for the fighters to do the Ramui. Uh, whether Peter will do this uh, uh, today, I don't know or not. And of course, respect to both the referee and the officials. One Padet brings both fighters into the corner. This is a free two minute round tie boxing fight, uh, the novice class. And this is kicking off today's show, which I'm sure is going to be exciting. So, seconds away, round one. Yeah, here they go. Removes a Moncon. Marcus uh, Bailey there, one of uh, Proud Pichai's top fighters. Recently won the uh, British amateur title. Martin going straight for the high rounders kicks, which is to be expected. Uh, Peter's not going to be too bothered about that. Peter's very strong low kicks. Martin, uh, Martin not dealing with the low kicks very well at all. Uh, very, very scrappy fight this is going to be. And Peter's going to work the clinching knees, which is to be expected. Uh, one Padet quickly breaking them up. Not a lot happening in the clinch there. Peter should be taking it easy now, thinking about his fighter. Uh, Martin, oh, very strong low kick from Peter there. Uh, another high kick from Martin. Yeah, Martin sees all his chin up very high, so if he can get him with one of the big roundhouse punches, he might cliff him on the chin, but yeah, it's yeah. early days, it's only the first round. They're both going for it. And Peter went down on one knee there. Whether that was from a punch, I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure. It was a punch, Bob. I think it was just a slip, but yeah. it's going to be a... It's going to be a grueling fight, this. It's really oh, yeah. having to go both lads. And Peter holding him in the clinch again. Going to work the clinch and the knees and the elbows to the body there. Because elbows to the body are actually a legal technique here with the rules they're adopting today, which is three two-minute rounds. Heavy leg kick there by the red corner. Another leg kick. And a beautiful, boxing. Yeah. beautiful block there by Peter. Uh, again, the knees and the clinch working, uh, working away there. You can't see a great deal from a vantage point down here. Oh, a beautiful low kick in again. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, well, Martin hasn't come to play. That's a, that's a fight. Peter's got a bit of a fight on his hands. Peter keeping his guard a little bit too low there, but obviously he's getting tired. They're holding back a little bit now. We're a little bit more wary, I think, of uh, their capabilities. I think they realise that uh, it's not going to be such an easy fight after all. Before he, when he was warming up, and the lad was very, very flexible, hence the uh -huh. as he could do the head kicks. Yeah. The thing is, though, Vinny, as you know, those uh, those round kicks have to make contact, and they're on the bell. The end of the first round in this three, two-minute Muay Thai rules fight. Yeah, an action-packed fight so far. The crowd here is fantastic. It's a great show. Everyone's really up for a good evening of Muay Thai, and it gets counted. Away, round, two. round two. Here's round two. Yeah. So and here's Vinny, let's see how uh, the two lads cope with the second round. It should start up in the pace a little bit now. Yeah, they're both warmed up for it now. Again, there's that low kick, but again, Peter just moving out of distance. Peter needs to block that kick though, Bob. His uh, leg seems to be getting a little bit red. Uh, he's back with his big right hand there, by red corner. Martin Carter there, trying with the boxing. Oh, Ooh, oh beautiful body shot. Beautiful he's body shot for Martin Carter there. I see the red corner shouting out for the knee, the knee, the knee. Actually, in Martin's corner, there's uh, Andre, who, uh, who uh, well, Ma uh, Andre McIntyre, 29 years old, uh, Iska Intercontinental, uh, best fight of the year. And Peter now putting the pressure on. Peter started putting the pressure on. He's shown his strength, has an elbow there to the body. It doesn't succeed, but he's having to go. He's showing all the repertoire of Muay Thai. A little smile on Martin's face there. Kick, oh, a big kick. swinging punch there, not making any impact at all. Yeah, he seems to uh, like that big right hand. Oh, he punch. loves that right hand. It's got to, it's got to hit the chin now. It's got to hit the jaw. That's definitely true. I think at the moment the second round seems to be equally matched. Both fighters uh, missed there, low kick missing again. That jab missing the target, again missing the target. Peter has to win. And a beautiful right hand. Peter's putting the right hand in there, and this is what Peter's known for the right hand and the boxing and the knee to the body. He's turning the opponent and one Padet moving in quickly to break the fight up. It looks Martin like Martin's taking a bit of a taking a bit of a beating from that right hand. Martin Carter to grab all there because that was a heavy kung fu with a head kick of his own. If Peter we boxing, brilliant fight. It's a fantastic first fight on the bill here at Aston Villa Leisure Centre. I think the audience are pleased that they are indeed getting the real deal. And Peter scoring there with Bin 
the uh, side side knee that's going into the body. Okay, One pin there breaking them up. Really did have to hold on there from that big shot. Absolutely. And keep it through. Now that jab going in again. Oh, ah, and a fantastic oh. second round finish. I'm going to score that one, Bob. Uh, I now put Peter ahead. I'm afraid <laughs> I've not been biased or anything, but uh, from a from a, uh, a judge's perspective, let's say that uh, I would put Peter ahead now. Certainly because of that right hand that came in over the top. Uh, 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 that was a beautiful body shot though from Martin uh, midway through that round. Uh, nice body shot. Martin likes the jab and the big right hook. He That's right. Likes the, he's likes his head kick and his low kick, but. Peter's charging forward and he's making his punches count. Uh, the thing is, Martin's coach is probably saying when he pulls in a clinch, pull him in close, don't let him use the knees. Yeah, and here we go. The third and final round today. Anything like, it's anything like the last two, it's going to be an action packed round. Peter taking a more cautious approach, I think. There's a low tip. Oh, nothing happening here. A little curved knee going in. Knee's not having any effect here. Oh, and a beautiful knee to the midsection. And one Padet moving in to break up the clinch. Yeah, it's certainly an exciting fight. These two are going to blast the uh, Peter's got the look in his eye. And there's our jab again. There's our jab again, but it's not making any contact as yet. Yeah, Peter right must do some work here. Big With the right, right hand again. Big and the right, right hand again. Peter's gone over the top. Again, the clinch on the knee. And the knee again. Yeah, oh, now. both fighters seem to be losing control of what's going on over now. Oh, and the knee again to the body. A beautiful knee from Peter Hefford. Peter's showing some yeah, yeah, as you say, it's not over yet. You don't count your chickens until they hatch. Oh. That head kick's not going to do anything at all at that level. He needs to move it in and hit the neck. And a bit of an overarm clinch turns him in the clinch. Martin holding on tight. Holding on tight there. Martin's putting up a great effort. This is a great it's fight. It's a very good watch. fight. Very good fight. A great first fight. One per deck tears the fighters apart. Peter moving and taking the fight in, and there's a right hand, and there's a body, the head, and there's a knee to the body, and the head again, and all, all. Oh, Martin, back there. Bob, what do you think about that one? A good oh, shot. A beautiful shot. Both fighters put them a hell of a fight. A tip to the body, a tip to the body that the judges must score, and there's Martin down. He's really showing his stunt now, the blue corner. Martin looking there. exhausted. The red corner giving him advice. Martin completely dis disorientated. All Peter needs to do is move in now with a flurry of hand techniques and he's moving in and one Padet will break up this particular clinch. He needs to throw his shot before, as he moves in, he's just moving in without throwing his shot, maybe. If Absolutely. He at it, it'll be the end of the show, but it's not over There's yet. that low kick. Oh, beautiful low, low kick. Low kick followed by a right hand. Brilliant stuff. Again, low kick hey. and it's over. What an exciting fight. A very gentlemen. exciting fight. Yeah, that's a great fight here at Aston Villa. What a great showcase for the sport of Muay Thai. A uh, fantastic first fight between Martin Carter from the um, 3D Fighting Arts in Reading and the Pride Pitch Eye, a homeboy here from Birmingham. And now we just leave it for the judges to make the decision about uh, what. Well, I think the crowd have actually made up their mind who's won, but let's leave it to the judges. Quite clearly, Peter Hefford was a strong fighter there, but a hell of a fight from Martin Carter, who is fairly new to Muay Thai. And both fighters go to their opposite corners to pay respects to the teacher.